Hello everyone, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares and this is the third installment of Welcome to My Collection. We're going to be looking at uh, the New Mutants 41 through 60. Uh, right now what you're looking at is number 41 and let's see 41 through 48 all had cover art done by Barry Windsor Smith and all its stories done by Chris Claremont. So we can clear that up right away, try to speed things up. What you're looking at right here is number 41 called uh, Way of the Warrior featuring Mirage. You see her right on the front cover here. New Mutants number 42. This one is, once again, Barry Windsor Smith and Chris Claremont uh, storyline featuring uh, Cannonball uh, both the previous one and this one are both uh, standalones there's no story arcs involved with each, either of these New Mutants number 43 as you can see the New Mutants are back at it with the Hellions uh, this is called Getting Even. New Mutants, number 43. Again, Barry Wonder Smith, Chris Claremont, story. Barry Wonder Smith cover. Number 44 is called Legion. Or, sorry, Runaway featuring Legion. Uh, this is the sequel to New Mutants 26 through 28. Uh, Legion is back. Um, see him on the cover there. Marvel 25th Anniversary New Mutants number 45. I see around the borders here the all the different Marvel characters part of the celebration there uh, this one is um, once again 25th anniversary uh, we were only fooling uh, this particular storyline actually revolves uh, deals a pretty serious subject actually uh, teen suicide in which uh, teen is accused of being a mutant and in, uh, in uh, trying to avoid uh, being caught up in all of it decides to take their lives and, and there's uh, uh, like said dealing with a very very touchy topic as far as comic books is concerned but um, once again a standalone uh, until this next one here number 46 Now this is done by Barry Windsor Smith and Chris Claremont. It's called Bloody Sunday. Uh, the villain is Magus. And as you can see, we do have some uh, X-Men appearances. You got Colossus here. And I don't know if you're aware that uh, Ileana, also known as Magic, also known as Dark Child, uh, is the sister of Colossus, a member of the New Mutants. Um, this particular one is a uh, mutant massacre tie-in and is part of a what am I looking at here one two three four five 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 comic book story arc Number 47, you got Warlock on the cover there. Uh, once again, Barry Windsor Smith and Chris Claremont doing story. My Heart for the Highlands. Uh, once again, villain in this one is uh, Magus. Uh, Magic tries to uh, teleport them out of danger and winds up taking them back to medieval Scotland in this particular book. 
and I suppose that is kind of the, where the story arc is here. There's there the tie-in is is that they keep jumping through time to different times in the future, in the past, throughout the story arc, running away from Magus and jumping through um, Limbo and heading into uh, these other periods of time. Number 48 here, as you can see, we have Sentinels, but this is actually set in the future. Uh, this is uh, called Ashes uh, of the Heart, which moves into, uh, they move into another future uh, in number 49, which they're trapped in the future. And in this particular future, Earth is ruled by mutants. And this also is the departure from Barry Windsor Smith doing the covers. You now have Brett Blevins doing the covers and Chris Claremont doing story. And last of this bunch, number 50, Return of Sim, as you can see on here. And also Magus, this is a double-sized issue kicks up the price to a dollar and a quarter. Um, the cover for this one is done by Rick Leonardi and Dan Green, also Chris Claremont doing story. Take that one down. Get the next group here. New Mutants 51. Cover art is done by Kevin Nolan called Teacher's Choice with Claremont doing uh, storyline and uh, this is guest starring Professor X and the Star Jammers but beyond that it's really pretty much a standalone story no story art going on here. You have the demon version of uh, magic as the dark child on the cover here. Uh, number 52 of New Mutants. You have Bill Sikowicz actually coming back to do the cover art. It's called Grounded Forever. You got appearances by Sim and uh, also by Sabretooth in this particular book. New Mutants number 53. Now this is going to be a basically about a two two issue story arc. Uh, cover here is done by Rick Leonardi. Story by Chris Claremont called Seduced and Abandoned. Uh, once again New Mutants and the Hellions are back at it again fighting each other. Um, Number 54, once again, Hellions and the uh, New Mutants fighting each other. Cover here is done by Mike uh, Magnola and Terry Austin. Uh, title of this is Rat Race. Uh, only true event that happens in this is uh, Karma uh, leaves the New Mutants. Number 55, kind of a strange little story and tale here which involves aliens uh, abducting some of the new mutants. Uh, this is a Brett Blevins and a Terry Austin cover and for the first time in the entire run of the new mutants we have somebody new on board doing the storylines uh, and script with uh, Louise Simonson taking over for Chris Claremont and uh, she will be doing the storyline uh, through the rest of the run that I'm showing here. Um, next story number 56 is the start of a very long story arc uh, involving bird brain. Uh, you have here uh, 
cover art done by Kevin Nolan with uh, Louise Simonson doing story called Scavenger Hunt. Uh, we have Magma, who was leaving, heading over to the uh, Massachusetts Academy, which is the school that does the training of the Hellions. So she's leaving uh, New Mutants to go to the Hellions, and it's uh, and also the storyline of them trying to track down Bird Brain, which will take you into number 57 here which you'll see bird brain on the cover here. This is another cover done by Bright, uh, Brett Blevins and Terry Austin, Louise Simonson doing story, uh, called Birds of Feather. Uh, takes you into another storyline, number 58, also involving bird brain, uh, this time in an X-Men outfit. Uh, and the unique thing about this particular book as well, it should also include a mutant registration card insert. Uh, cover also done by Brett, Blev uh, Brett Blevins and Terry Austin. Uh, and they are through the rest of these here too. And once again all of these involved Louise Simonson and once again when we're looking at now the uh, fall of the mutants crossover with number 59 here uh, and you have the uh, animator who creates a whole created a host of mutated animals including bird brain um, that is part of this story here you also have the introduction of Cameron Hodge and the right being involved in some of what's going on here going into the next storyline number 60 which sees uh, the end of the uh, storyline with Cameron Hodge killing uh, Cypher. Um, and that is how this winds up ending. This is also part of the Fall of the Mutants crossover, and this is a special issue, double-sized as well. And this will be the last one I show in this run. Um, I hope that these aren't too boring for anybody. Um, I'm just I'm trying to get some background on some of these and share some of these books. You can check out the covers while I explain who does the artwork and who does doing the story and what maybe some of the significant things that happen in them. Um, if it's too dry, if it's not what you're looking for and you just want to check out the covers and see the books, let me know, please. Um, but otherwise, I just thought I'd share what I have and try to break some of these down. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with the New Mutants, and they, maybe they can enjoy that. But if you do enjoy my videos, please click like, uh, and uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, uh, and uh, feel free to leave any comments or uh, feedback down below. Uh, thank you for watching.